Hallo? Ja. Yeah. Fann det lättare visst du bara kom in och prata. Hallå en. Come in. This is not my house. I had to prep the tractor for uh, a little gig today. Typical day in uh, Claire Schwinn's life. Typical day. Always something that needs a uh, little fixing. You're kind of a handyman. Mm, I wouldn't say I'm a handyman, but I try to um, look like I am. Yeah. So if you have that impression, thank you very much. So this is your Ferrari? Uh, yes, this is my uh, one of two Ferraris. You gotta have two, of course. So, but yeah, this is the favorite one. The big yeah. baller in Voss. Uh, yes. Because <laughs> you had an accident this summer, right? Yeah, I almost cut my fingers off. These two happen? bad boys here. I had to have a look inside a machine and it uh, wasn't working and then all of a sudden it was working. So I got stuck. But now it's pretty good. Uh, they're cold all the time. Especially this one. It's always cold. No feelings in the tip. Only feeling I have is cold. If you forget to tighten your nuts, you know what happens? No. You have to get a new nut because they fall off. This is where I grew up. Finnegan. Yes, Finnegan. We do organic fruits and vegetables. And um, yeah. So this is where you live? Yeah, that's where I live, right by the lake. That's the Sunday car, girl's car, and that's the daily work car. The Bula Beast. Supported by Bula. This is actually Veco's um, winch. It even got brakes on it, but now it uh, needs a bit of. Uh, I need a bit of love, but it has a flat tire, that's why it's still here. Uh, these are tracks for the ATV. I had, a, I had a plan to put it on my grandma's car. She had a really small uh, car. Uh, it just proved to be too difficult to actually make it happen. I think it's uh, probably garbage too, yeah. <laughs> hey, you got a motorcycle. Yeah, we got a motorcycle. It needs a bit of love as well, <laughs> but it's a nice bike. It rides well, I don't have a license, so. I don't get to use it, use it that much. Please don't film uh, this pile, it's, um, it's not uh, done yet. Uh, there's a lot of driftwood that I was supposed to split this summer. And then I injured my, my hand and uh, I won't dry for this winter, so I, I just left it. Take it next year. This is the Furtebu. It's not exactly a man cave. It's more like a, yeah, oh, let's call it a man cave. It got a modern, modern look on the outside, but inside it's an uh, old uh, Tömrahus, about 100 years old. What do you use this place for now? Uh, storage, skis, surfboards, wetsuits. My girl has some woodworking stuff that she likes to do. Uh, this is the office. Come have a look. Nice. There's yeah. no computers here. No, it used to be one, but I have to. Uh, um, now it's up on the farm. How many pairs of skis do you have? I have no idea. This is what I use. One, two, three. There's some on the roof. Some pairs here that I haven't mounted yet. Don't ski that much park anymore, so uh, maybe I'll have this for the rest of my life. Currently developing a pair of skis with uh, Osnes, but we still have a lot of testing and development to do with both the design and also how the ski performs. There's a great team at Osnes working on it. And it won't be for sale for at least a year or two, but uh, we're gonna do some proper uh, proper development before we, we put them in the stores. Probably one of like, uh, the bucket list goals of a skier to have the wrong ski line. As a kid, you always wanted to get a pro model ski. I'm semi-retired, but I still ski a lot. And uh, yeah, it's uh, for sure a dream come true to have a, a pro model ski. I know you have a, a Bula base layer that is uh, close to the signature. Do you have anything else? I have a pole. I think it's from 2011. See the Norwegian flag, got my name on it. I also have some gloves from Bula. Yeah. Why do you have so many doors? Um, that is because my dad doesn't want to get rid of those doors. I think maybe one day he will use it. What do you think? Is he gonna use it? No, but hey, one day you just might need a door. Did you hit a big wave? No, a big wave hit me. Last minute I managed to jump off the board and uh, the lip hit the board, I guess, and just broke it in half. But it was a bit scary at, at first. <laughs> Wanna go inside the house? Yeah, let's check out the house. Want some coffee? Colombian guy who moved to Voss and is actually making this in my dad's barn. So, how's a typical day for Claire's Bina look like? It depends. Now I get up around 7, 7.30, make big breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Today I had a uh, wildgryte. Do you always make dinner for breakfast? 
Yeah, if I have the time, because you never know when your next meal is gonna be. Today I'm gonna clear some driftwood. Tomorrow I'll be in uh, Myrkdalen driving the snowcat. There's some farm works to be done. And no day is typical, I feel. It's really exciting to live here when the, when the flood hits. It's never been in the house, but it was damn close a couple of years ago. I could probably jump from the roof into the water, and then we can jump from the new bridge. I didn't hit the bottom, but uh, one of the guys hit, hit the rocks at the bottom. Did you check the depth before you jump? Uh, no, I just made the other guy jump first. <laughs> you want some homemade uh, apple juice? Oh, yes. If you were to describe what you do for a living, what would that be? Uh, when people ask, I say I'm, I'm a farmer, second skier, and third. Worker. I don't know. I guess I do a lot of different stuff. A cat too. What would you call a cat number two? The story is I went to the vet and they asked me what their names were and I, I didn't have any names for them. So there was cat one and there was cat two. Unfortunately cat one is, uh, is dead, but uh, cat two is still here. It's on a soup container, but uh, that's because I haven't gotten my own uh, bottling line. But I'm planning on getting it. So this is real good. Best uh, press apple uh, you can get. Pretty darn good. How do you get into uh, skiing? Two years old, my dad took me skiing. Ever since I've been skiing as much as I can. Then I went and moved on to snowboard when I was 11. And then after I broke my board, I, I found a pair of skis at home, starting using those. Yeah, I really started loving it. You became a pro skier. Yeah, I was a professional skier for about 10 years. Traveling the world and competing. Been to X Games three times, World Championship three times, bunch of World Cups and Invitational. Won the National Championship, I think, four times in big air and half pipe. Is it scary to try a fucking triple, triple flip? Yep, it's terrifying. Nowadays I love surfing. That's my main, if I had a hobby, that would be, be surfing. I try to do it as much as possible. I snowboard a bunch. I actually, I believe I am a snowboarder. I was born in a snowboard body, but I was a skier. I have a feeling that I should have been a snowboarder instead, because I love riding boards. You, when you talk about other people, you always refer to them as uh, their name and local hero, but I think that uh, Kespin definitely is a local hero in Boss. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, nice to hear you say that, and for sure I try to be a good ambassador for Voss. I love this place and uh, it has a lot to offer. What does the excellence would like mean to you? Mm been the highlight of the year since I was, I don't know, 14, 15. Even before I could uh, take part in uh, parties or even most of the competitions. Once I got older, I got more involved both in competitions and organizing and invite friends from all over Norway and sometimes from around the world. It's such a great time. Everyone comes together, do different kinds of sports, party. It's just, uh, yeah, it's the best, best thing ever. This is uh, the nicest room. This became a new place after you got a girlfriend, right? It got a little touch of uh, style, yeah, I guess. I've always been a nice place. I kept it tidy, but now it's on a different level, especially with the plants. I had a cactus uh, before, but uh, it died. You didn't water it? I think I watered it too much. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's perfect to sit there, play some Xbox, watch some ski movies, just uh, work the legs. The, this plant is now, uh, they're not getting enough sun. So uh, Carolina got uh, a UV light. Maybe we're giving it some tan. Are you kidding me? Is it a kangaroo? Yep. It's a kangaroo. It's a, it's a roadkill I hit uh, back in. Uh, now, um, I think it's my uh, grandma's sister got this when she was working. God, I'm gonna butch this. It, uh, that's not that's not right at all. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. That, that's not the story. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I got it from my my grandma's sister. I think she had it. I'm not quite sure about the story. Somehow it ended up with my mom's, and then she didn't want it, so I got it. This is how you charm your girlfriend, right? She's not too fond of the kangaroo skin, actually. I think she doesn't quite like it. <laughs> There's two bedrooms and uh, a bathroom up here. Some people really like the, the wallpaper. I don't like it very much. Nice view. There's not a guest room in here. It's a lot of bags and now it's just storage. So besides from the kangaroo skin, what's the strangest thing you have in this house? You think that's strange? To have a kangaroo skin in the house? Very nice, very nice bedroom. Short way from uh, the bed to the bathroom. Luxury. No TV on the bedroom wall? No. That's my biggest dream, to have a TV in the bedroom. <sighs> yeah, well, it'd be hard to make it out of the bed then. It's X Games Oslo, it's Big Air in Boston, uh, World Championships Utah, Marcus Edas Invitational 2011. Andreas Hotweitz's backyard battle, where I got uh, first place in 2010. It was a big, big, uh, big deal for me uh, back then and really fun uh, competition. So, uh, Andreas, if you uh, watch this, uh, you should uh, make it happen again. My name is Andreas Hotweitz. That was good times. 
it's not mine, it's hers. Uh, best action Gold photo. Award. Mm. That's probably the most impressive uh, thing on that shelf. We had some goats this summer, two of them. They're, they're nagging all the time. I think they got a better place with uh, indoor uh, sleeping area and better for them for the winter. But one of the coolest things you ever did, in my opinion, was making the 80 meter or maybe 100 meter slide last year. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Bula about doing a new stunt. Uh, somehow we ended, po ended up with a slip and slide. We started putting it together, dug up the road. We even made a little pier out yeah. in, the, in the water with concrete and everything. And it just added on as we started. And we didn't quite know what we were building. And, and once we had the 30 or 40 meters, we started adding going higher and higher and just uh, getting more material in. And people went a lot faster than I thought it, they would. We never tried anything like this and... I know yeah. there was also a meeting at the hospital. Yeah, I think they had, uh, they kept extra, extra staff that day because they had heard about uh, the slide. Uh, I think there was only one guy who went to the hospital. It wasn't... Yeah. yeah Trygve. Trygve. <laughs> but next year, you got a new surprise for people. So now apparently I am uh, an expert on uh, slides. I don't know how much is uh, secret. Now we have the chance to make it even better. And I actually bought the slide from uh, Torp with a loop. We want to build something really special in Voss. This is gonna be next level. If we, if the plans go through and we can do what we want to do, this will be, uh, it will be the, the, the most insane slide that uh, the world has ever seen. I'm pretty sure. I'm quite nervous about it too. It's a big, uh, big construction. This is not the Jerry rig. This is the real. We will make it happen. Who are you gonna send in it first? Arne Hauglund will go first. Who are you going to go? No, you're going to go with me. Hæ? Nei. Hva synes du at det er kjent? Det er sånn at det er ikke min plan. Kjør tre etter hverandre i tur og orden. Ja! Of course you will. Of course. He already volunteered. So, Veko 2021. Do you have any words for people who never experienced Veko? Yeah, it's about time. One of a kind, unique festival. Everyone who's ever been here has only good things to say about it. And it's an experience for, I would say, an experience for life. Alright, thank you for uh, having us over today, Klaus. Yeah, thanks for coming. Alright. Peace. Peace.